What's up, Rangers? Welcome back with another one. <laughs> I just want to start. Hold on real quick. I just want to start off by saying who puts a church pipe organ inside of our living room? This thing must be at least 15 feet tall. Can you see that? Who does that? This guy that I'm exploring his house. I don't know who he is yet, but I'm going to tell you about him in my intro. I think this guy was prepping for some kind of doomsday. Like, I think he was afraid, like, Japan was going to drop bombs on us or something, or the Russians were going to drop bombs on us. You'll see a lot of clues left behind inside the basement that maybe this guy was actually making his own bombs. And he had food storage down there, too. I've never seen anything like this on this channel yet. And I have never produced anything like this on this channel. And by far, this is probably one of the weirdest places I have ever been. Wow. You have got to see this. So let's mask up and let's explore. In this episode, I will take you on a journey with me inside a beautiful and inspiring story about an elderly couple who built a legacy that will stand the test of time. Meet Thomas and Lorraine, a devoted husband and wife who had dedicated their lives to each other and created a loving and nurturing home for their children. Together they worked tirelessly to provide for their family and instill strong values of love, hard work, and resilience. They raised their children with endless love and support nurturing them as they pursued their dreams and built successful lives. As the years went by, Thomas and Lorraine celebrated their children's successful milestones, finding joy in each new accomplishment. Recently, Thomas and Lorraine left behind a rich legacy, including a loving family and a prosperous future for their children. Although Thomas and Lorraine are no longer with us, their memories and values live on through the generations that follow. Now, their children are left responsible for carrying on their incredible legacy. But we're not done just yet. I found something out of the ordinary inside this home, or better yet, underneath its structure. It turns out there's an underground bunker inside the basement, but it was tricky to find. I had to go down the basement stairs, around a hidden corner that led into a sub-basement that led inside the bunker. Check this out. I'm still in the basement, right? But look at this. There's a sub-basement. What the heck? I wasn't not expecting a sub-basement. But what was the family doing down here? My only thought was, after finding out they stashed food and water away, they probably knew America was in for the next war or prepping for the next nuclear fallout. I found this situation so mysterious. But what I found even more mysterious was these little tackle boxes scattered throughout the house. But these weren't no ordinary metal boxes. These boxes were rigged with possible detonators, almost like a time bomb. But why? It's got switches on it, but for what? And it's got a red button on it. I think this is a detonator, y'all. Like, what the hell was this guy even doing with this? Look at this, they're all like that. All, every single one of them. Look, they're all up here, look at this. This guy was definitely making some kind of bombs. I have no idea what it was, but these are all, it looks like detonators. I thought it was so weird and random, 
And quite honestly, this is my first time ever witnessing something like this. And at that moment, my mind was curious as ever, and I had to go deeper inside to explore the unknown. That's why I'm asking you, my subscribers, to come on this journey with me and to keep your ears and eyes wide open for any loopholes I may have missed. Who knows, maybe I missed something lurking in the background that will help us all advance this story and unanswered questions. All right, guys, let, oh, let me take my mask off first. All right, guys, so welcome back. If you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I wanna make it seem like as if you were the owner of this house, how would it feel if you were the owner of this house coming in through the front door right here. And unfortunately, this is what it looks like. I know it's kind of disappointing. Let me put my mask back on, it smells in here. I know it's disappointing, but hear me out. After you see this house, you're going to completely change your mind about this area right here. And definitely, if you could look past all of this, all the clutter, you can see how beautiful this place would have been. Oh man, this is fantastic. Let's start over here in this section because the sun was just so bad coming in through these big old windows right here. I really wanna show you guys what's up. So why wait? Let's start off with the pipe organ because when you come in, this is really the first thing that catches your attention. Who in their right mind would put a pipe organ in their house, I guess to each his own, but this is massive. And I will say, it does kind of match the woodwork. It really does. Look at this. Wow. Spoiler alert, none of this works. I already tried it. I tried to flip the switches on downstairs in the basement. They did not switch on, unfortunately. Um, but if the power was on, this is how you would flip it on and off. That gives it power. But look at this. Look at all of these auxiliary switches and everything. So beautiful too with the woodwork. And if you can imagine at one point in time, this did have power. You pull that little lamp right there. And then this light comes on too. Oh look, there's a cockroach. Hey cockroach. All right, let's keep it moving. Organ must be at least, I wanna say maybe 12 foot tall because the ceiling has got to be at least maybe 18 feet tall, maybe 20. I'm gonna go with, yeah, probably 20 on this one. It's pretty big. All right, let's see what we can find in the living room. Look at this, moving on to the beautiful chandelier. You can't skip that. So gorgeous. One of the first things you see when you walk in this place, let me turn that down just a little bit. It is bright in here and the, the lighting is not the best in here. It's good, but sometimes it could be a little bit too harsh. I don't know if y'all can see that. Got two, ch actually we got, this used to be a very, very comfortable room at one time. We got the sofa right there, two chairs, chair, chair, and you see all the other chairs behind that wall. It's ridiculous. This pe these people love to sit down, that's for sure. <laughs> and let me see if this actually lifts up. This might be a lift top coffee table. Yes, it does lift up, but there's nothing there. That's the entrance. Maybe this is like a little hallway table. And this is what the married couple look like. Very cute couple. And that's the mom and the daddy. And I think Hold on, let me put the pieces together. Actually, I think that's the grandparents to that guy right there. So we're gonna get deeper into the story in just a bit, but I really wanna show you guys this house. What the hell was that? Hello? I think that's just the wind. I hope so. All right. Ah. Oh. It's a cool looking fireplace. This sucks because like, 
at one point in time, this was probably once a beautiful place, still kind of is, but now Mother Nature took over and look what we have here. Somebody put a water bucket here. And if you look really closely, like really closely, you can kind of see like little bitty mosquito larvae, like little bitty worms inside, just swimming around. Can y'all see that? I can barely see that on camera. Ew, that's disgusting. It just popped on me. Ugh. As we come right here around this corner to the front entrance, we do have these pictures that are just laying around. This has got to be like ancestors of the family because these pictures do not look current whatsoever. Um, they look older, maybe from like the early 1900s, maybe I'm thinking possibly. As we come over here in this area, we got, what is this? Oh, these are like little picture slides. Like you put them in here and then you get to look at the pictures. But what the heck is in here? Let me see. Let me shine it up to the light real quick. It looks like pictures of like, hold on. Looks like pictures of ducks and maybe houses. Yeah, this is like a house. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's a house. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better right there against the wall. That's definitely a house. What else do we have? What is that? Uh, that's, that's a picture of an airplane on an airplane. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, that. It's a cool little Christmas character right there. And guys, that's pretty much the theme of this place. You're gonna see as we go around and explore, you're gonna start to see more and more pictures. So stay tuned for that. Speaking of pictures, we do have more pictures right here. Let's see what that's all about. Yep, more pictures. Y'all see that? Looks like, that don't look like pictures of the family. Eh, it could be, maybe workmates. That's definitely the guy that used to live here, I think. I'm gonna show you a lot of him in just a minute and a lot of this girl right here. That is the married couple that used to live here. Wonder if this still plays, it should. It's a nice looking piano. D.E. Gas, what's that? What is that noise? Hello? Let's see if this still plays. Yes, it does. D.E. Gab, what's that mean? I don't know. Looks like somebody wrote that on there. Beautiful piano though. All right, this screams to me 70s, early to mid 70s, where a lot of people and anything and everything was made out of this wood paneling and then you got the stone fireplace too. Look at that. That screams 1970s. Same thing with this clock here too. I don't think we give a shout out to the clock yet. That's cool. It's an old grandfather clock. And it does not work anymore. Too old. Way too old. Whoa, they kind of chimed a little bit when I put the, I think they were just moving back and forth. Let me see. That's loud and pretty. Let's put it back. All right, let's move on. What I want to do with this place, since we explored the living room, I kind of want to swing around to the left all the way and end up around to the right. And then kind of explore the rest like that, kind of like in a circle. So here we go. This, my friends, is the dining room area. And you'll see, it looks like these people ate Thanksgiving dinner, they packed up all their stuff, and they just left. All this stuff here. I wonder if they were Jewish. This is actually Jewish wine, Manischewitz. They could have been Jewish, I don't know, maybe. But we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together the best we can. Who is that lady right there? I forget. Uh, uh, Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. That's it. Yep. Look at that. That's a cool looking picture. It's almost like a tapestry almost. 
And what is this? Who made this? That's weird. Kind of cool though. I can't get over this. This looks like something out of The Walking Dead or The Last of Us. Looks like they just left everything behind. You do have some leftover wine in these glasses too. Look at this. Oh, it's actually moving. Ugh, yuck. This looks like it could be worth a pretty penny. This table and chairs, if you were to fix it up. Look at all this stuff on the wall. Or in this china cabinet here, I'm sorry. All these glasses and stuff. Everything just left behind. Anything in here? No, not really, I figured that. And then we got some in this cabinet too, this china cabinet. Buffet and china cabinet together here. This looks like little egg, egg nog, egg nog cups. What is? What are these? Looks like an ashtray. What do we have here on the table? Looks like some coasters and whatnot. What is that thing on the wall over there? That looks cool. Let's check it out. Tell me what this is. What is that? Looks like some kind of medieval thing, but um, I'm not too sure what that is, but it is cool though. I ain't nothing but plastic. I thought it was metal. Nah, it's cheap. All right, y'all, as promised, let's wrap around. Um, we could explore the kitchen maybe, but let's, let's save that part for a little bit later. Let's go in here real quick. This is what we have in here. Turn that exposure up just a little bit so you can see what's going on. Yeah, this is, this is insane. You could tell these people love to be comfortable because this living room screams comforting. Lots of seating. This is what I told y'all, lots of seating. These people love to sit down and lay down and everything else. I don't mind that. And look, here's a picture of that girl again. Right there, School of Medicine. She might have been a nurse. And let's see, what does that say? NYU School of Law. So he's a, maybe a lawyer, possibly. Here's a picture of the, looks like extended family. And that's the picture of the real family. Or his family, I mean. Yep, that's his brother right there. Pretty sure that's how it works. This is a very, very old picture here. That, that baby right there was probably him. Right there. And that's the mama. Definitely the mama. All right, let's keep it moving. And here we look like we have maybe an old 8-track player from the 70s. Now I want to say this place has been abandoned since 2020, but this is probably from his parents or his grandparents and they just left it here with him. What kind of tapes did they listen to? Maybe that could tell us some stories. We do have Mozart, Julie Perry, more Mozart. That's just, oh, that's just a blank tape. I'll pick that up in just a minute. Let's see, what is that? So it looks like they like classical music mostly, I guess. Kid, does this open? No, it's just decoration. That is cool. I love these switches like that. So satisfying to touch stuff. It's a bunch of mail and everything else in here. Why don't these people pick up after themselves? Like, you know what I mean? Not to be rude or anything, but why do you leave this stuff behind? I'm thinking something really tragic happened to this family. I'm gonna figure all that in my intro and tell you the story, but for right now, I'm just kind of speculating and seeing what's going on here. Yeah, nothing but photos. These look current. 
These definitely look current. A lot of baby pictures. A lot of family photos. I wonder whose house is that? Oh, is that abandoned too? Definitely not this house. That's the mama. This is definitely current. And these are really old. Ugh. You could tell this is an old photo by the beveled edges. You get a close up of that, I guess. Here's another one. All right, guys, so this is irrelevant to the video. It has nothing to do with the house. I mean, kind of, but sort of not really. I was over in this area earlier taking pictures, and I heard like a little rodent in here. Well, I thought it was here. It's actually coming from inside the walls. So you either have rats or probably squirrels. I'm going to guess a squirrel or a raccoon, being that it's this kind of area, is living in these walls. So we just came from that area over here. And let's go over in this section and see what we got, what we can find, I guess. Do we need the light? Yeah, we might need the light because it is kind of dark over here. I do not know who that is. That seems like the correct temperature to me, 50 degrees. The AC does work. It doesn't come on, but the thermostat does still work. Yeah, that, it doesn't even come on. It's just there. It's here, but it's not here in spirit. <laughs> if that makes any sense. What do we have here? What is this? 1962 montage. What the heck? Oh, that looks like a very cool abandoned school. That is very historic looking. Look at that. I don't know if it's still, oh, Alabama College, 1962. What the hell? That actually looks like Searcy Hospital. I love looking at old pe people's yearbooks and stuff. Look at that. I love looking at this kind of stuff. I don't know why, but I just do. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of high school yearbook. Look at the hairstyles back then. They're so much different than today. I mean, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, you tell me. But these hairstyles are very, very old. I mean, I seriously can make the whole video about this. I love looking at people's pictures and stuff. It just brings back memories and stuff, even though they're not my own. It's still cool to, cool and fun to look at. In the bar area, give a shout out to these seats right here. These seats are very cool. I bet they swivel. Yep, they do swivel. This one is stuck. Eh, it kind of works. What is all this other stuff against the wall? Just pictures, miscellaneous stuff. Let's go in this section, I guess. See what's going on. It is so bright around here. Good Lord. All right, let me just show you what we what we working with outside. That's what we got. Very bright, extremely bright. Let's get out of this window though, huh? And you come in here into this bathroom. <laughs> Look at that sink right there. Look how massive that sink is for a bathroom. I love it. Look at the colors and everything. They had a cat box in here too, so I guess they had cats. All right, let's keep it moving. For you. That's a very old looking radio, that's for sure. AM FM Zenith radio. Man, they go way back, huh? Yes, indeed. I told you everything is made out of wood back in the 70s. Look at this. That, that, it's miraculous. All right, y'all, now we're getting into the kitchen area. Get ready. You'll be seeing a lot of stuff in here, a lot of knickknack stuff. Tell you what, let's take a look at this dining room. See what we can find on it. I have no idea what they were trying to do here. <laughs> that looks like salt, maybe, or stones. I don't know, Is he, were they making drugs in here? I doubt it. I don't know what that is. Nothing too much on the table. Let's take a look through here. Got to pop on this light real quick. Goo Choo, Lil Matt, get out of my home. I don't know who that was. Oh look, cool pencil holders. Look at this old telephone, y'all. Look how old that is. You know you have something old when a beige or white phone turns this color. Shout out to all the NES and Super NES Nintendo 
cartridges out there that turn that color. You know what I mean. If you have a Super Nintendo, it just turns yellow. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. It says March 2020. I knew it. I knew I saw this calendar early. I just couldn't remember where it was. Definitely inside the kitchen, March 2020. More of that Manischewitz Jewish, uh, Jewish wine right there. Look at this. It says Lady Slipper against the wall. Can you see that? European goldfish. What does all that mean? Garden pea. Huh. That's kind of cool. I like that. A lot of supplements in here. Earwax removal. Hmm. More baby pictures. Be clever for doing this. They used to save old Taco Bell hot sauce. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of do that stuff too. If I have extra, <laughs> why not? You know what I mean? This is the pantry area. Holy moly. Look at all that Manischewitz right there. All that Jewish wine just hanging out. For anybody that's anybody who ever had Jewish wine before, it's very, very sweet. It's probably the most sweetest wine you'll ever taste. Look at this. What is this made out of? It's like plastic or something. I'm not going to lie, as ugly as this house is, I kind of like it here. Like, it's just cozy. You know what I mean? Probably like a cool place to go play hide and go seek or something. All right, let's move on to the next part. Now, we already did this area, so let's move into that room right over there. I really don't want to go in there because it's spooky, but I have to because it's my job. Let's go. So this is kind of weird. When you leave the living room and go into the hallway... There's this little door that you have to unlatch to go inside. It's kind of weird. What is this thing? It's like a little video game for children or something. It's a letter. Cancer. Somebody had cancer in this family? I'll read that in just a minute. Put that back. Look at all these books that they used to like to read. Very, very old books. It looks like we had a gentleman's top hat here. Box of chocolates, an old box. All these books look so old. Walking down this hallway right, right here, you'll see it leads to a bathroom. Look at that. The clock still actually works after all this time. It's been abandoned. Oh, look, a little baby pug. Nasty Vaseline. It's amazing what you can find in these houses, huh? Look at the wallpaper. Jeez, that is hideous. <laughs> it's very 70s of them to do that, though. Good Lord. This is how you know when a place is old. When bathroom sinks had this shell design. Look at that. Shout out to the brown toilet. Y'all see that? Toilet's brown. It's good camouflage, if you know what I mean. What is this thing? No, not the Starbucks bottles. I'm talking about that thing. What is that? Like a little transistor or something? That's weird. Let's see what we got here. Open that door. Bunch of old books. Nothing too crazy. Shut that. Okay. This was definitely the master bedroom. I know that because it's the biggest bedroom I can find in the house. It's so massive. Look how big this room was. Benberg property sold for 700,000. What the hell? Clemson number one. What was this? What was this paper? 2017 on this paper. Y'all see that? Here we go with the baby pictures. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. Look at that. Cute family. This looks like it was taken downstairs. Yeah. This was definitely taken downstairs. But well, we're still downstairs, but that looks like it was taken in the living room downstairs. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, look, right by the fireplace. Remember the fireplace, y'all? That is definitely that. More baby pictures. I could just look at all this stuff all day long. Beautiful family. Yeah, everything was made out of wood back then. Here we have some Lego blocks. Kind of cool. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, we got more pictures. That's, I'm telling y'all, that's the theme of this house. Pictures after pictures after pictures. I could look at this stuff all day long. Could definitely look at this stuff all day long. Wow. goes on forever doesn't stop this pictures from 1997 oh it looks like somebody died I have to blank that out usually owners will have guns underneath their bed so let me just poke the camera up underneath there and see what we can find what the hell is that what the hell is that thing looks like a can opener maybe in here We have a chest suitcase actually let's open it up this thing is so old good lord will it even open does it open i can't figure that out let's keep it moving y'all i don't have that much time i got only so long time is money money is time montgomery alabama they didn't even open that I hate how they just block the windows to this room. I love natural light, but, oh look, that's some cool looking colors right there, y'all. Running strong for American Indian youth. Some kind of cool colors, like 80s or something. Nothing in here. Some gentlemen's ties. Oh wow, oh my God. We just, what is this? What, are the, what is that? It looks like rocks inside of a milk carton or something. Look how 70s this is. That's very 70s, that corduroy looking stuff right there. Whoo! Look at this. Photo album after photo album after photo album. All right, y'all, time to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Here we go. Now, the, this is really old here. This is super old. Oh, yeah. We're going way back in time. Wow. I'm not going to look at all of these photos, but I'm sure you get the gist. That's the boy who used to live here. Him. Cute family, cute family. Now, these are going way back. 1951. Wow. Wow. Whoo. That's way old. 1951. 1950 on that one. Does it just keep getting older and older? This is like the modern day Facebook photo albums. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in here, I guess. Oh, this one's heavy. This is a wedding album here. Oh, it's super heavy. Yep. Definitely looks like wedding photos. Just keep flipping, see what we got. Yep, that is definitely them. That's the older couple of the couple that lived here. Could be their house. They might have just put it in their name after they passed away, I'm guessing. I, I'm, I could just look at this stuff forever. It's fascinating. I guess that's the church that, yeah, that's the church they got married in. Don't know where that's at, but okay. Yeah. Now this is going way back. Whew. Look at the, look at the photo colors of these photos. Definitely 80s or possibly 70s maybe maybe 80s yeah this is 80s it's gotta be right what about this one i 
Oh yeah, this is uh, yep, that is definitely current. Probably no later than 2018 or 19. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, I'm taking way too much time in here looking at these pictures. <laughs> I know I'm getting carried away, but I love this stuff. All right, let's keep it moving. I'll put all this back in just a bit. Look at this. <laughs> I know I said I was leaving. Watch this. Damn, more pictures. Look. God. I'm... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, look, that was actually taken downstairs. Look at that. All right, whoa. Look how big the monitors were back then. All right, I'm getting too carried away. Look at this. All of these pictures were taken inside the living room. Wow. This is just too much. By far, this has been the most crazy explorer I've ever seen picture-wise. These pictures are just gold. Wow. Beautiful. All right, let's keep it moving, y'all. I'm taking way too much time in here. Here we go, going upstairs, and this is what we're going to see once we're up there. Look at that. All right, meet you upstairs. Here we, we go. Upstairs. I think I'm gonna handle this one. All of these rooms kind of connect together up here. We'll start off with this room first. Let's see what we can find in it. What is this? It's like a little dresser or something here. Nothing too much over here. What is in here? Nothing. Eh, dirty panties. <laughs> Give you another good shot of outside, I guess. It's kind of what we're looking at. Just a backyard full of nothing. Let's keep it moving. Here we go. That actually leads to outside. I'm gonna show you that too. What is this thing? Yeah, nothing, what is it? Oh, it's a book about cats. What is my cat thinking? There you go. If you wanted to know what cats think, read that. Wait a minute. That girl right there, who is that? She looks so familiar. Where do I know her from? that one if you're seeing this video tell me where have I seen you before you look very familiar extremely familiar but I can't seem to put two and two together right now the English country cottage I can't get over so many pictures so many pictures God this is outside so if you want to chill on your own roof, you can do that. Just open this door right here. You got a whole roof to chill on. How about that, huh? That's kind of cool, huh? All right, let's go back inside where we're safe. At least I hope. Look at all the leaves are just pouring in here. <laughs> it's miraculous, I tell you. This had to be a woman's closet or something. Bathroom. Who puts carpet? This is when you could tell the house was built in the 70s or late 60s or even early 80s. You have carpet inside your bathroom. How miraculous. This says hi. More photo albums. Dang. Wow. Just so many. Yeah, that was nothing. So many photo albums in here. Here we go. That note says, wake up at 6 a.m. on Sunday. <laughs> When you didn't have your phone telling you when to wake up, <laughs> you couldn't set reminders or anything like that. These were your reminders. 
Sunday earrings, purse, black bag. Look at these chandeliers. This one too. Nothing in the drawers, it doesn't look like. There's a picture of the bathroom. Very ugly looking bathroom, very 70s. <laughs> Not knocking it or anything, but it is ugly. But has its own place in a house like this. Let's move forward to this side of the house. Oh, here we go. Some toiletry stuff. More pictures. I'm telling you, these people love to take pictures. The hell? Ugh. Leftover food. Looks like a Pop Tart. What do we have in here? A whole bunch of clothes. It's definitely somebody's closet. I'm kind of thinking the kids lived with their grandparents, maybe. I don't know for sure, but I don't know. I'm seeing like different clues and hints all over the place. These are definitely more modern day clothes. I like that Christmas sweater over there. That's kind of cool. Giggity for you. Look at that. Here we go. Moving on. Nothing of interest. Nothing. All right, y'all, we're back inside the living room area. This is how it kind of works. We went inside that room. We started there, wrapped around here, and now kind of the same theme inside this room right here. Kind of just wraps around. So let's wrap around, see what we can find up in here. It's an old school desk. Look how old the school desk is. But this the hell didn't make any sense. You had a front of it, then you had the back too. Did this fold down? No, doesn't that? Here's everything that they like to read. Looks like they like to read the Bible too. So we'll give a shout out to the Bible. Doing Bible things. And what is this? Another picture album, photo album here. That's definitely not this house. This is somebody's other house. Yeah, it's another house, I think. Tell y'all, I could look at these photos all day. Somebody stop me. <laughs> all right, I gotta move on. Here we go. <laughs> I love looking at photos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> More photos. More photos. And more photos. And more books. What does this say? This caught my attention. The Nothing Notebook. The book to set you straight. 192 ruled pages of nothing. Well, they weren't lying. Definitely weren't wrong on that one. What else do we have in here? More pictures, more pictures. Ooh, look at this. Missile Command. Some de somebody uh, definitely liked video games back in the day. Missile Command. Can y'all see that? It's an old Atari game. And look. See right there? That's a drawing of the boy that lived here. With very yellow eyes for some reason. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let's go into the next room. All right, I want to make sure you guys are following me. All right, so we went up the stairs. We went into that room right there. We wrapped around. We came out. We went in here. Went, whoosh, and now we're taking a turn, going inside this room. Here we go. First creepy thing that you see inside of this room is this teddy bear. My lord, that is creepy. Give a shout out to the teddy bear, y'all. What else do we have here? A baby crib. More pictures. And I see more, even more pictures than that. Here we go, more pictures. Look at that, huh? 
That's definitely the theme of this house. Pictures after pictures after pictures. I love it though. If you want to abandon house to explore with people's photos, just come here. <laughs> this one is the king of old pictures. Oh, <laughs> I find this funny. Look at that. They have to label them. Underwear, socks, that's probably shirts down there, but I think it's funny how they label the chest right here where you put your clothes at. That door looks like it leads to outside, which I'm not gonna disturb right now, because if you could tell, it looks like a pain in the ass to remove. And a lot of leaves right there too. 1989 right there. Somebody's wig. That's not nasty at all. Psych. Here's a picture of the world map. What is this? It's the bronze medal, South Carolina All-State Academy team. It's a heavy freaking medal, that's for sure. Southern Bell, Bell South Company. What the heck? Hey. Christmas decor in here. Finally, some Christmas decor. What the heck? This is the weirdest bathroom wallpaper I have ever witnessed in my entire lifespan. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so weird. I love it. Of course, this would not look good in my house, but I still love it for what it is. All right, y'all coming out the closet. Here we go. We're walking into this room right here. Let me see, can I get through? Good Lord. Good gracious. Can't even move in this room. All right, so this room, nothing too exciting going on here. Some trophies back here, I guess. Some scholarship trophies and everything. They have like an old Eagles helmet. Not the NFL team, probably like a high school team. It's kind of cool. Ew, with the dirty mouthpiece. Yuck. Can't believe I touched that. And really nothing else in here. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, y'all. So right now I explored pretty much the whole house. The only thing that I have left is the basement. I'm really not looking forward to it because it's making this whole house smell like chemicals down there, but I got to check it out. You know why? Because it's my job. So let's go. Y'all, I tried to turn on the power right here flip some switches it does not come on the pot uh all right y'all here's the basement really not looking forward to it try to turn the power on right here it does not come on it has been shut off by the power plant so let's try it let's here we go going down with a trusty flashlight steps are a little weak not feeling too confident about this well we got to send it here we go. This is massive. Holy moly. This is by far. Wow. Whoa. Okay. This is by far the biggest, most vast abandoned basement I have ever seen. It just keeps going. All right. Let's start back there and work our way up. What do we have down here? Looks like a whole bunch of paint cans. It smells so bad in here though. Like what, what, what is making it smell that bad? Some kind of chemical. Oh, good thing I got this mask on because it reeks down here. Oh, what is this? What is it? What was this guy making down here? What the hell? This is so disgusting. What is this? This, look, this looks like gumballs that you get out of the candy machine, but it is not. Trust me, you don't want to touch that stuff at all. You don't know where it's been or what it is. Yeah, this guy was definitely prepping for something down here. Look at that. A safe. I know I'm kind of moving a little quick on this one, but I really want to get the hell out of this basement. It smells so bad. 
this I'm, I'm telling you this just goes on forever it's creepy down here too I just want to get out of here look at that an old pencil sharpener with a hedge trimmer this is so weird looking there's a paper cutter that thing I guess Oh yeah, here's an old can of Alpo dog food. Oh God. What? Where did we end up? Oh, this is the other side of the basement. Oh, we just made a circle. I didn't realize it did that. Yeah, this whole basement just made a circle. All right, where's the good stuff? This machine says, do not cut metal. Ideal number two, I have no idea what that means. There's some seat belts down there. Shoot, too much noise, too much noise. Taking it slow but fast on this one. Is that an old flashlight? I think it is. Oh no, that's a nut or a bolt. What does he have these big old machines down here for? It must have been some type of carpenter, maybe. I don't know. This is the biggest basement I've ever seen. Uh, oh, man. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like an old boombox right there with speakers and stuff on it. Does this still work? Yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck it. Let me see. It does kind of still work. I don't wanna set no flames in here, that's for sure. Cause you never know what would happen after that. I don't wanna blow the place up. Hell. This is all, what the hell is this? This is all stovetop burners. What the hell was this guy even doing down here? What is that? A bunch of batteries, but for what? What the hell? And those are a bunch of big ass light bulbs down there. What the hell is this guy doing in here with that? All these chemicals. What is that for? All these old bottles and everything in here is so disgusting. Oh, it smells so bad. Try to get through here. You can barely move in here, honestly. I don't even know what the heck this is. What is all this? All this is here for just nothing. It's just trash now. Check this out. I'm still in the basement, right? But look at this. There's a sub basement. What the heck? Can I even go in there? Like without falling down the steps? This is definitely a sub basement. Oh. I wasn't not expecting a sub basement. What the heck? Oh my god. I wonder if there's another sub basement below this. We're deep underground now, y'all. Look. What the heck? <sighs> this is just too much. Oh my. I think this guy was prepping for end of the world. Look at this. You could tell he was. You could tell he was definitely prepping for the end of the world. Look at this. He's got cans of beef stew down here and baked beans. Like they were planning on dying or something from a bomb. <laughs> like, look at this. This is all food storage down here. Look at th look. Look at this, y'all. Manischewitz bottles, but they have water in them, not wine. What the hell? Yeah, this dude was definitely prepping for war, for sure. What the heck? Look at this. Look at all these bottles of wine and everything in here. Popcorn, stuff you could live off forever. Look at that. Oh, it is tight in here, y'all. Too tight. What, what is in here? Clothes, shoes. You gotta go back here and check this stuff out. Christmas stuff. This makes absolutely 
No sense. Wow, an old dartboard game. How cool is that? Wow. So upstairs, up inside that basement, so upstairs in that basement up there, that was just like a workshop. But down here, it looks like this guy was preparing for doomsday with all the food and stuff. Got some baseballs and basketballs. An aquarium, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is like a medicine cabinet. Look at that, look at all the old medicine. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. An old bottle of aspirin, Tylenol, needles, syringes, dental floss, Crest toothpaste. Wow, look at that. That's Crest toothpaste. A dollar nineteen. How much does it cost these days, y'all? Probably like five dollars. Wow. An old bottle of Pepto Bismol. A blood pressure machine down there. What the heck? This guy was definitely for uh, he was definitely for uh, prepping for war. What the heck is that? What the heck? Oh man. I'm like so overwhelmed. Oh look, more food. Yeah, he was prepping for war down here. Or a nuclear explosion. This guy wasn't messing around. But something tells me this the, the son wasn't responsible for this. It was either his father or his grandfather. I'm thinking it was his grandfather. All them old folks are so uptight about war and everything like that, which I totally get it and I totally understand. Is that an old Stanley cup right there? That's a thermos. Thought it was a Stanley, but whatever. <laughs> Charlie's Angels, the original Charlie's Angels board game. Look at that. Why did he have all these grocery cart wheels? This is like the weirdest house I think I've ever seen. I don't understand it. Look at all these wheels, but for what? Who is this guy making? Look, an old box of Q-tips. Y'all see that? It's definitely an old box of Q-tips right there. Look at that. Wow, I'm amazed. Oh, yeah, this guy was definitely going places, <laughs> I tell you. Wow. Oh, almost tripped. Oh, I see some Christmas decor. Yep, there's that. This is a wreck down here. I think whatever happened here, I think I missed it. What is all this stuff in here? Heinz wine vinegar? Really? Why do you need jars that size? What are you going to do with them? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's starting to smell even worse down here now. What is this stuff? All these little boxes. I wonder if there's anything good on the inside. Oh, it's heavy. Can we set it down somewhere? Set it down here and let's check it out. If that's not weird. It's got switches on it, but for what? And it's got a red button on it. What the hell? What is this? Is this a detonator? What the hell? I think this is a detonator, y'all. Like, what the hell is this guy even doing with this? It's in like a little box, a little metal box. What the hell? Let's look at the others. Look at this, they're all like that. All, every single one of them. Look, they're all up here. Look at this. This guy was definitely making some kind of bombs. I have no idea what it was, but these are all, it looks like detonators. I don't understand that. This is so weird. I'm, uh, I'm honestly kind of freaked out now. Cause look at, I mean, look, they're all here, look. And I wonder why he color-coded them. 
Was it different type of explosions? I have no idea. I have no idea. This is absolutely freaky and honestly quite terrifying. Yeah, this is... All right, y'all, let me get out of basement because it's kind of freaking me out. But one more thing I found is look at these things. They look like little grenades or something, like little bombs and stuff. And they, and they like, you hear that? They make noise. Like, what is going on in there? What is that sound? Oh, what the hell? What the hell's coming out of it? What is that? What is this? What the hell is that? All right, I don't feel really safe anymore down here. I'm getting the hell out of here. All right, let's make our way back upstairs. Yeah, I don't feel safe down here. It smells like diesel fumes. I have no idea why. What is causing it smell? Let's look in here, this is the office. Oh wow. We have a lot to look at in here. We have here. Looks like some horses. This is a horse race. It's a donkey. Alright, jackass. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have. Yeah, these are very old pictures. Oh, that's a cheetah. Of all things, of all pictures, I see a picture of a cheetah. This is a wedding. Deer. That's a scary looking photo. What the hell am I even looking at? It's pictures of houses. People on horses. It's all here, y'all. It's all here. What is all this? Oh, look at that. More pictures of the family. Everywhere, everywhere. Pictures of them all everywhere. That's George Bush and his wife. This is where he used to work at, his desk. A little nice cozy looking setup. He could just look right out the window. Oh, if this ain't freaky enough, what is this? Who did this? This looks like Leatherface, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This looks like something Leatherface would wear on his face. Look at that. Now that is creepy. Here's another one. Oh, that's a leaf. That is scary. A whole bunch of paper clippings. February 6th. Oops, I'll pick that up in a minute. February 6th, 2020. This paper looks a lot older than that. It's all stained up with yellowness. You know when papers get really old, they get yellowed. What the hell? That's an old cigar, it looks like. An old wallet. All right, you get the gist. Look at this old measuring tape. Wow, that's heavy duty. Look at that. That is old measuring tape. And it still works. Here's a picture of somebody holding money, it looks like. Let's see, do we have any others? I don't even know. Oh, that's a picture of Two people, it looks like. And that's the photo downstairs. That's the downstairs bedroom. That is a down, yep, that's the master. Wow. What is this? Another bedroom. It looks like they, it looks like they were like a loving, caring family. It says, Happy Father's Day. 1982. Wow. So, I guess we all want to know, since the kids moved out, what will happen to the house? I later discovered that 
both sons wanted the house and land sold to a developer for $1.5 million. Until that day happens, the house will remain abandoned and decaying from the extent of time.